Okay, um, so my pick picks for the summer. Um, we're doing this thing where uh, we're talking about the movies that we saw, but the other guy didn't see. So um, one of mine was uh, Sicario 2, Soldado. Um, I thought that um, <clears throat> I really liked the first Sicario. I really liked I really liked all of the movies that Denis Villeneuve has done pretty much all of them that I've seen, uh, I've been really impressed by. Um, and this was a continuation of, of Sicario. Um, Villeneuve didn't direct the second one, but it has two of the main characters played by uh, Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro uh, playing the same roles. Um, uh, it's taking place uh, I think an indeterminate time after the events of Sicario, and it uh, also deals with with um, uh, the border politics between the United States and and the escalating drug war uh, with with Mexico. Next week, the president's adding drug cartels to the list of terrorist organizations. You want to see this thing through? I'm going to have to get dirty. The first movie in terms of these kinds of movies have been obviously done before, but the first movie, the pull of it is Villeneuve's sort of really cool and detached and at a lot of the times really brutal style of telling the story. Uh, and I think that uh, that, that okay, okay, was okay, okay. quite well accomplished in the sequel as well. Uh, it is a very cold story and it, it's, it, it, it doesn't really create much sympathy for most of the characters. Um, I think it was a very effective sort of even semi-documentary kind of way of of describing the situation. Um, I don't know whether it was very original in its execution compared to the first one. Uh, this is obviously a difficult thing often to think about if you have a sequel and you and the and the director's different how how much do you want to make it something that reflects your own artistic vision and how much do you have to take into account that there's a there is a sequel or sequels that predate it and you have to cater to those expectations uh in in this case i thought that it very much played uh it, it was very much made similarly to to the original or the or, or Sicario itself. Um, I think both of the main actors did a great job. Josh Brolin has been really, really uh, in the forefront this summer with Deadpool, with uh, with the Avengers movie, and now with Sicario. Um, so he's basically been in in three sequels uh, within the fa past few months. Um, I think that this, uh, I think that Benicio del Toro sort of expounded on his character in the first movie. Um, and again, it's, it's a movie that doesn't offer easy answers or solutions or uh, a lot of happy endings either, uh, much like the first Sicario, that, that it, it, is, it is concerned with the harsh reality of, of people being cogs in a, in a, in a machine that, that sort of destroys people's lives. Um, I think it's probably, it was also probably made because it's, it's even more relevant now, again, with the, with, with Trump's America, the, the border relations are obviously something that people are interested in. Um, so, so I think it was a good strategic move to make this film. Um, but if you like the first one, I don't see why you wouldn't like the second one. It is not as accomplished uh, in terms of, of, of uh, just being a film. Um, but I think that it, it, it fulfills 
everything that a sequel is supposed to fulfill. Um, some people have criticized the very ending. Uh, I thought that it worked quite well. Um, I agree that it would have been a more, maybe a more shocking and perhaps effective way of ending it the way that you're expecting it to end. But uh, I'm guessing that they might be also thinking about perhaps doing another sequel, uh, maybe. Um, I think that there, there would be room for it. Uh, I think that this particular, the pit, particular style of making these movies is, is interesting. And uh, but if if you like if you like Sicario, I think that that Soldado will will uh, you won't be blown away with it. But I think that you'll be satisfied with it. <laughs>